back to my YouTube channel. If you come across this particular question on refraction, in this first coming exam, this is how you are going to solve it. With no further ado, let's get right into the video. The refractive index of the medium M in the diagram below is what? We are given this diagram and we are expected to find the refractive index. Okay? Now we have a glassing angle of 30 degrees with angle of incidence of 60 degrees in this medium. This is air. Now this is another medium, okay? We have also the angle of 60 and we are asked to find the refractive index. Option A, 2 over root 3. Option B, 1 over root 3. Option C, 2 root 3. Option D, root 3. For us to solve this question, we must not forget that the refractive index of glass or in any medium is equals to sin i over sin r. That is, m is equals to sine of angle of incidence over sine of angle of what? Refraction. And this refraction only takes place when light travels from one medium to another of different densities. So from what we have, the angle of incidence i is given as 60 degrees. So we say i is equal to 60 degrees. Then my angle of refraction r, we don't have it. Now, this is what I'm going to look for. If this is a right angle and this angle is 60, what will be the remaining angle? That means 90 minus 6 is going to give me 30. Okay? So my r is equal to 30 degrees. Substituting into what we have, we have that n is equal to sine i is what? 60 all over sine r, which is what? 30. So let's go. We have that n is equal to sine 60 is root 3 over 2, then divided by sine 30 is 1 over 2. Okay? Now, by the time you proceed, we have root 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 1, right? Now, this cancels what? This. So therefore, my refractive index is equal to root 3. Remember, it is a constant. It has no SI unit, okay? Now, for what we have gotten so far, the correct option to this question is option D. A glass plate, 0.9 centimeters thick, has a refractive index of 1.50. How long does it take for a pulse of light to pass through the plate? We are giving C to be 3 times 10 raised power 8 meters per second. Option A, 3.0 times 10 raised power minus 10 seconds. Option B, 3.0 times 10 raised power minus 11 seconds. Option C, 4.5 times 10 raised power minus 10 seconds. Option D, 4.5 times 10 raised power minus 11 seconds. So for us to solve this, we should note the parameters given. We are given the thickness of the glass block. That happens to be our distance. D is equal to 0 0.9 centimeter. Okay? I will give you the refractive index N to be 1.50. So I ask to find how long, which happens to be the time. The time, okay? And we are giving the speed of light in air to be 3 times 10 raised to the power of what? 8 meters per second. Now for us to solve this, we must understand that the refractive index N is equal to the velocity of light in air over velocity of light in glass. That is, N is equal to... Velocity of light in air over velocity of light in what? In glass. Now, we already have the speed of light in glass, which is 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second. Now, we're looking for the velocity of light in glass. So, let's go. You see our refractive index, 1.50 is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by Velocity in second medium, which is glass. Now we do cross multiply that Vg is equal to 3 times 10 raised to the power of what? 8 divided by 1.50. So Vg is going to give us 2 times 10 raised to the power of what? 8 meters per what? Second, okay? That is the velocity of light in second medium, which is glass. So let's use the velocity to relate it to distance over time. Now we have that velocity in the second medium is equal to distance over what? Time. 
but my distance is supposed to be in meter so i convert simply by dividing by 100 that is 0 0.9 divided by 100 it's going to give 9 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters hope that is clear substituting it into this formula we're going to have my vg to be 2 times 10 raised to the power 8 is equals to my distance is 9 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 okay divided by what time right so if you say cross multiply my t is equals to 9 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 divided by 2 times 10 raised to the power 8 okay so simply by doing simple division 2 divine is going to give me 4.5. So this is going to be 4.5 then times 8. Coming over to the numerator becomes minus 8. So I will now add it to have minus 11 seconds. Oh, that is clear. So from what we have gotten so far, our answer is what? D. But this is how you can solve this type of a problem. We're first going to get the velocity of light in the second medium, which is in glass, okay? Then we now remember that velocity is distance over time. They've given us the distance. We have to find the time. So this is how we are able to solve such problem. I hope that is clear. If the refractive index of glass is 1.5, what is the critical angle at the air glass interface? Option A, sine inverse of 1 over 2. Option B, sine inverse of 2 over 3. Option C, sine inverse of 3 over 4. Option D, sine inverse of 8 over 9. Remember that the relationship connecting the refractive index and the critical angle is this. N is equal to 1 over sine what? C. Okay? But we are giving the refractive index to be 1.5. So let's go. We say 1.5 is equal to 1 over sine what? C. Okay? Now if we say cross multiply sine c is equal to 1 over 1.5 this 1.5 is something as saying i want to change it to fraction this dot is 1 and this is what 0 so this becomes 15 over what 10 right so if i reduce this to the lowest sign it's going to give me what 3 over what 2 i hope that is clear so i'm going to substitute it into this place to, to give me 1 divided by 3 over what 2 right now sine c is equal to 1 times 2 over what? 3. Now, since I'm looking for c, I'll take the sine inverse of this. So that means c is equal to sine inverse of 2 over 3. By the time you do that, you're going to get the what? The answer. I hope that is clear. You understand what I did? I have to change this to fraction to have 3 over what? 2. By the time I divided it, this is going to come up and this will come down, right? So we find the sine inverse of this. That's how to solve this type of question. And what we have gotten so far, the correct option to this question is option B. An object is placed directly below a glass block of thickness 3.0 cm. Calculate the lateral displacement of the object. If the refractive index of glass is 1.5, option A, 1.0 cm, option B, 1.5 cm, option C, 2.0 cm, Option D, 2.5 cm. Now, this question is all about refractive index of glass, relating real and apparent depth, okay? So, anytime you hear thickness of glass block, that becomes the real depth of the glass block. So, we say that refractive index is equal to real over what? Apparent, okay? Then the thickness becomes my real depth, which is 3.0 cm. Now, my refractive index N is 1.5 I don't even have my apparent depth, okay? Now, for me to get my lateral shift or displacement, I have to solve for my apparent depth first before solving for lateral displacement, okay? So, let's go by saying N, which is 1.5, is equals to my real depth is 3 over apparent is what? A. That is what I'm looking for. If I say cross multiply, A is equals to 3 over 1.5. Hope that is clear. Now, when I divide... I'm going to get what? I'm going to get 2 centimeters. Now, for me to get the lateral shift or lateral displacements, L is equal to real depth minus apparent depth. Okay? Let me just substitute into what I have. My real depth is 3 minus apparent depth is what? 2. 
Okay, so I will subtract to get one centimeters as my lateral displacement or lateral shift. They can even call it upward displacement. It still means the same thing. I hope that is clear. See what I just did by getting my apparent depth, then subtracting it from where? From the real depth. So the answer to this question is option A. If the speed of light in water is 2.26 times square is for 8 meters per second, and the velocity of light in air is 3.0 times square is for 8 meters per second, calculate the refractive index of the water. Option A, 1.33. Option B, 1.23. Option C, 1.45. Option D, 1.50. This question is quite simple because they've given us the speed of light in air and also in water. So for us to get the refractive index, knowing that refractive index N is equal to the speed of light in air over speed of light in what? In water or in glass, right? Now, since you are looking for this, my speed of light in air is giving us 3.0 times 10 raised power what? 8, right? While the speed of light in water is 2.26 times 10 raised power 8. Simply by dividing, okay? Now this cancels this. So, say 3.0 divided by 2.26. So my answer is going to be 1.327. Then approximately n is equals to 1.33. I approximated this to call this one, right? Becomes 3. Hope that is clear. So the correct option to this question is option A. If this video was able to help someone, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button to get notified each time I post videos. And lastly, do not forget to share so that other students that are preparing for this forthcoming exam can see and learn from them. I will see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.